If you plan to combine the power of Character Animator with After Effects or Premiere Pro, using the Dynamic Link feature can save you a lot of time. Okay, so now we have Rob, and he's rigged and animated, and we are ready to export him. So before we, you know, jump in and go to file and export as a video file or a PNG sequence, if you are going to do any kind of work in After Effects or Premiere Pro with this content, I would strongly recommend using Adobe Dynamic Link. Why? Well, what if I needed Rob to be placed with some live action video in Premiere and we find out that the timing isn't quite right? Well, it's gonna be a lot easier to actually have it dynamically linked. That is, this file live linked with Premiere and to just change the timing and it will automatically update in Premiere, which saves me a lot of importing and exporting time. Same thing can happen in After Effects. We could make a 3D background, we could have animated text, and if we needed to make a change to the character animator content, we could do that without ever having to re-import. So let's do it with After Effects. Before I do that, I would want to just double check that everything is kind of in good order here. The one thing I'd probably change is that right now we've been playing with essentially one scene that we've kind of used multiple characters with, and it's called Magnus, and that's Rob. So as a matter of good housekeeping, probably a good idea to hit return and call this scene and rename it Rob. Okay, so little things that you might want to do first. Once you've got your scenes and everything kind of in good order, if you launch After Effects and simply go to the project bin, you can double click, you could also hit Command I, or if you like to go to menus, you can go to File and Import. These will all give you the import option. So I can go to the folder, in this case, my documents, where I created the initial character animator project. And you can see that we named it Magnus. And the file types for character animator are CH proj files. And when I hit open, it's going to look for any scenes in that project, like the one we just named. So I'll hit OK. Now, all I have to do is drag it to the new composition icon, and behold, there it is. If you're wondering about the quality issue here, it's just because the quality is set to a quarter for the sake of speed. Okay. But there are some really cool things going on here. So let's say we've done a bunch of edits and we suddenly decide in our After Effects project, we really wanted Rob's eyebrows to have that kind of funny kind of tilt like this the whole time. Okay, well I can go back to Character Animator and I could say, let's do that. I'm gonna make some changes. So I'll make him have that trigger, yeah, there the whole time. Now, sometimes you might get a little weirdness with the live preview here. If I uncheck record, there you go, we can see the new change. Maybe I want his eyes to be closed when he talks. That would be weird, but just for the sake of test driving, let's go back to After Effects. When we go to the part where he's talking, his eyes are now closed. I did not have to hit save. And this again saves me a lot of time, especially if I'm trying to retime maybe live action or some pre built animation in After Effects or Premiere Pro. So that is how you can dynamically link Character Animator with After Effects or Premiere Pro and save you a lot of time.